Hello everyone, now let's talk about login page SQL injection. So in the last video we have seen that how an attacker can inject its own SQL queries in order to dump the entire database. So similarly an attacker can also try to inject its own special crafted SQL query on inside the login pages in order to bypass the login pages because what happen is sometime login pages are also vulnerable to SQL injection. So if the login page is vulnerable to SQL injection then an attacker can easily bypass that authentication mechanism. Now let's see how we can do login page SQL injections. Now let's try to do SQL injection on login pages. So here you can see that right now I am on Bricks web application. So this is the application which we have used while testing SQL injection. So if I just go here, so you will see a login pages link. So let me open this. So here you will find that there are total six login pages which are vulnerable to SQL injection. So let's open the first one because it's a basic one. So it's just like a login page here you can see that we are not logged in. So let's try any random credentials and let's see what whether it works or not. So here you can see it, it has prompted wrong username or a password and at the bottom we can see the query. So let me copy this query and paste it in a notepad file. So here you can see that this is the query which is executing at the backend. Select star from users where name is admin and password is the password which means it's doing an comparison between the user supplied input or between the data which is present in the database. So now in order to bypass this login page what we can do is we can do a small trick in order to make this Bricks web application confused. So what we can do is so what if if we just write here in the place of username so if I just write here admin single quote or 1 equals 1. So now what it means? So it means we are closing this field name by just here admin and I'm adding an another condition that is 1 equals 1. So as we all know that 1 is equals 1 and it's a universal truth. So this will remain true and by adding the OR operator this will not matter that whether this part should be true or not. If this is true our condition will become true. So in the place of password if I just add here same thing admin or 1 equals 1 and in the place of name let me just add this or 1 equals 1. Now let's read this query. So it becomes select star from user where name is admin okay or 1 equals 1. So if this will not true then this will be true and the password should be admin. So if this will not true this part will always true 1 equals 1. So now, now let's try to add this as our input. So admin single quote or 1 equals 1 and let me copy this query and let me paste it here and now let's click on submit and let's see whether it works or not. Okay and here you can see that we are successfully able to log in and you can see the query which is executed at the back end. So this was a small example that how we can bypass login pages through SQL injection. So in this video we have covered that what is login page SQL injection and how we can bypass the login pages using SQL injection. Thanks for watching this video.